Hey, what's going on? It's Matt with Bowls, your best friend, your board game reviewer, and your rocket scientist. We gotta get to Mars, and we're doing it soon. But today, we are taking a look at a brand new game just released. It's the Adventure Zone! The Adventure Zone Bureau of Balance game is a cooperative light role-playing game which uses simple die rolls to lead players on a story of their own creation. It's based on the absolutely fantastic kinda actual play Dungeons & Dragons podcast of the same name, following their balance arc. In Adventure Zone, the game, players take the role of Reclaimers, which are a team of adventurers hunting down powerful artifacts. At the start of the game, Players will create their character by choosing which class they'd like and answering a few questions. You see, Adventure Zone game is first and foremost about creative storytelling. The game wants to get your brain gears turning. So rather than rolling for stats or abilities, you're answering questions like what makes you a good reclaimer and how do you best assist your allies? It's these sorts of questions that really help create the character into a fully realized person, rather than just being numbers on a sheet. Also during setup, the players will select three challenge decks they have to contend with throughout the game. One of these decks will be the relic the players are chasing, another deck will be the location the game will take place in, and the third will be the villains attempting to thwart the player's progress. Each of these decks is placed on the game board with a single card face up, which explain the character's current predicament. In this case, I must disrupt the creepy summoning while passing through a time warp in the depths of a tiny tomb. On their turns, players will choose which deck's challenge they will like to take on. Each class will have certain advantages for certain types of challenge. For example, the rogue is better at dealing with traps, as indicated by this symbol here. But as I mentioned before, the game isn't just about rolling a die and moving on. The game encourages you to paint a word picture by offering bonuses for adding additional details to the story. The player then rolls the custom die and adds their strength for that challenge type. If they need a little extra boost to reach the difficulty rating of the challenge, they can ask for help from an ally. Each player can assist once per round, which adds a bonus to their ally's roll and offers a higher bonus if they think ahead and plan to help before the die is rolled. If the challenge is beaten, the player collects the challenge card and places it beside their character sheet to be used later. Otherwise, the team takes damage, as indicated by the number in the corner of the challenge card. If the team's health reaches zero, it's game over, in the bad way. Along the way, players will also run into surprise cards, which represent characters from the Adventure Zone world that can provide a helping hand should the players need it. As I said before, as players complete challenges, they will collect challenge cards, which can be spent at the Fantasy Costco, where all your dreams come true. Got a deal for you. By turning in cards with a loot total of three or more, a player can draw a Fantasy Costco card, which provides all sorts of bonuses. If the players can complete the final challenge of two of the three decks, one of which must be the Relic, that is your goal after all, they win. But the Adventure Zone game isn't so much bothered by the winning or losing. This is a game focused on the narrative. The real hope is that the players crafted a fun and exciting, dramatic tale for themselves and enjoyed the journey just as much as the destination. And with so many different challenge decks, each having really interesting ways that they work and interact with the other decks, the combinations will each play out very differently, making for tons of replayability. So if all that sounds interesting, please go check it out, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and comment down below with which arc is your favorite from Balance. Personally, I really liked Suffering Game. I don't know what that says about me, but it is what it is. And if you subscribe to our channel, maybe you'll stave off the hunger for another stolen century. Thanks for watching. Bye! Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.